you know, I don't see con congressional action taking place anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, and until that happens, as we see migrant flows come through our communities, we're going to need an MRC. Well, unfortunately, because of the tenor of the political discussion um, in, in recent years, um, it is not surprising, uh, unfortunately to me, that a politician uh, would seek to uh, make a political point and do so by exploiting migrants. Um, to me, it may not be surprising. It does illustrate the depths of moral depravity um, on, the, on, on the part of some of these politicians who are, who are doing this. When you have migrants coming to our communities who are here legally waiting for asylum hearings um, and you're forced with the choice of either letting disruption occur uh, and you know, having folks deal with that in a disorganized manner or having an organized operation where we can help folks in a humane, compassionate way go to their next destination, meet the needs that they have, um, work with our faith communities, our nonprofits, our local government, and our community to address this situation in a, in a compassionate manner. If those are the two choices, I'm going to go with the with a compassionate choice that's organized that minimizes disruption. They are here legally, which means they're not in custody of anyone, not in custody of the federal government, local government, or anybody else.